Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. Mike here bringing you some more Bravely a Second. We're here in Heart's Child. We just were at the Ensa, Ans, Ensign, Ens, Eisen, Eisen Bridge. Commander Goodman got shot. Now we gotta take him to his residence, make sure he's okay. So we're here in Heart's Child, and it's already sundown. Hmm. Softly lively for this hour, don't you think? Is it not usually? Maybe people are enjoying themselves more now that the war is over. In any case, we need to hurry to Eleanor's. With Eleanor? Commander Goodman's wife. Oh. They're both such kind people. They really took care of us last time we were here in Eisenberg. They sure did. And they're a real pair of swans, those two. Swans? Right. Swans are a waterfowl we have here in Luxendark. They're known for forming lifelong breeding pairs, so we Aww. often use them to describe a deeply devoted husband and wife. A pair of swans. How romantic. And then the swan's heart, the swan's heads make a heart. explanation, heart. sir. In okay. reality, however, swans aren't so new. Hey. And that's enough from Tis and Yu's Birds of Luxendark. Commander Goodman, remember? Yeah, he's been shot, everybody. Uh, Gotta right. kinda help him. Let's go. Okay, first things first. I need to come down here. Oh wait, this city is literally built by a volcano on a volcano. It's awesome. So first things first. I need to grab this high potion all the way down here. Look at this, like literally down into the volcano. It's great. It's so good. Oh, a magic shop. A spell that lets one share MP with an ally. Oh, that's cool. A spell that cures various status ailments. Oh, that's cool. A spell that does minor light damage. Hmm. They're cheap. I can just buy it. Why not? This is pretty good. Magic mirror. These, these jobs are pretty cool. It's, it's pretty clever, the way they do that. Oh no, Eleanor, your husband. Mrs. Goodman. If it isn't Tiz and Idia, how have you yep. been, my dears? We're good, but your husband's It's great to see you again, Eleanor. Really bad. Tiz and I are fine, thank you, but... It's your husband. He's been wounded. Heavens! Here, bring him this way. Is Commander Goodman gonna be all right? He will be now, thanks to you. Aww. The doctor says you saved his life by bringing him back here so soon. With some bed rest, he should be fine. Well, I'm better deep. Now that's Rip it out. By the way, I know this isn't the best time to ask, but is something going on in Hearts Child? The town seems different somehow. Hmm. Why, it certainly should. It's Hearts Fest season. A time for revelry that comes but once a year. Mm. At first, City Hall planned to cancel the festivities. Aww. What with the Imperial attack and all. Aww. But someone convinced them that the people needed something to lift their spirits. Now more than ever. Why, this generous fellow even offered to fund almost the entire festival. Name is Kaiser. A festival? That does sound like fun. Yes, they've set up stalls all over town, with food and games and everything. But the real star this year is none other than the traveling confectioner who's sponsoring the event. They say his pastries are so heavenly that they can heal the wounds and hearts of our weary soldiers. Wow, that's you good, good pastries. I think I heard people around town talking about cake. With that sort of reputation, Cakey. his sweeps must be something else indeed. Well then, why don't you go and have a taste for yourselves? To tell the truth, I had one of his cupcakes just before, and I can tell you this, you won't be disappointed. Did you hear that? Let's go! Right behind you! And they're off again. 
I'll let them have their fun. We've been fighting almost non-stop to get here. We could all use a little break. We are in complete agreement. Minister, your princess requires an escort to the festivities. Well, when you put it that way. All right, let's see what this festival is all about. All right, let's check on the festival, see what's going on. First things first, though, I need to grab this thing. Some rare cheese. Over here. Grab some balsam. you <gasps> oh no it's you Why, this chocolate cake is absolutely divine I bet it's not half as tasty as my apricot tart shows what you two know none of those sweets are half as scrumptious as the man who made them talk about a honk oh my gosh that must be the traveling confectioner everyone's talking about. Why, oh, I'm just shivering in anticipation. Oh, customers. Tim. Welcome to Panettone's fine boyfriend. I am the proprietor, Angelo Ovio Panettone. Perhaps you've read the articles? I've come to share to a you. taste of heaven with the people of this dreary town. A taste of... To heaven? I don't mean to brag, but my creations are no ordinary confections. They're like nothing that has ever been tasted before in this world. Yeah, yeah. The first bite will send your heart soaring into the sky. The next will send your very soul to heaven. Because it kills you. The most ultimately, sublimely, divinely delightful pastries I have ever tasted. That is an exact quote from a local food critic. We believe what this man is saying is that he is quite certain of his abilities. And with good reason. But don't take it from me. Just listen to these lovely ladies here. What do you say, ladies? My desserts are... To die for! Oh, divine. My face is... To die for! All together now. We're in! Talk about passionate fans. Is he a pastry chef or a superstar? Uh, oh, no, no way I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Me too. Over here, one pastry for each of us. But of course, I just happen to have five remaining. One for us as well. How splendid! <gasps> Watch this. He's almost sold out. Give me one more. Oh, me too. Me too. Hey, hands off. That one's mine. Hey, your NPCs. You're not allowed. Uh, if, if you'll just. The last two are mine. Anyone who wants them will have to pry them through my cold, dead hands. <laughs> Whoa, ladies, ladies, calm down. I'm afraid I'm all sold out. You'll just have to come back next year. Sold out? How much I was looking forward to that! Dommage. Now I'll never know what heaven tastes like. Oh. Don't get too down, you two. Look, there's plenty of other snacks and games to enjoy. Come on, Magnolia. You too, Idia. Oh, look! A shooting gallery! That looks like the perfect place to take out our stress and frustration. <laughs> Darn shooting! Let's go have some fun! All right, we'll try out the shooting gallery. Oh, look at all these fish. Aren't they colorful? Care to try your hand at goldfish scooping? It's a cherished pastime of Unahana. Any goldfish you scoop are yours to keep. Give it a try. Come on, you. It looks like fun. All right. 
Hear me, goldfish. In the name of the Crystal Guard, you will be scooped. Ha. Ha ha ha. You and Magnolia sure seem to be enjoying themselves. Oh, no. We wouldn't want to get in the way, now would we? Oh. Let's check out some of the other games. Aw, but I wanted to try goldfish scooping, too. <laughs> As did we. It is not often we are able to partake in the diversions of commoners. <coughs> Look, you two. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Yow! Uh, all right! All right already! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Our kimono is made of the finest silk! Release our sleeve at once! Ugh! It's impossible, don't! Darn, you got away again. I've never been good at these games. Don't worry, you. I'll deliver the coup for the both of us. <laughs> you said it, Magnolia. Here comes our coup de gravy. Coup de gravy. Formidable! Look, I got him! Wow, how did you do that? Is this really your first time? It's simple, really. Look, it's all in the rest. It's all, all right. in the rest. Here comes my coup de gravy. Oh, but uh, you should try it first, sir. Huh? Where did everyone go? Um... That's curious. They must be around here somewhere. We should go find them. They left those two Wait, alone. No. Huh? Come to think of it, this is the first time we've really been alone together, isn't it? Oh, snapperoonie. It's kind of nice, don't you think? Just the two of us? Oh, of course, it's fine with me, but... He's blushing. This is kind of awkward. Oh, he's blushing. Like a tiny shirt and umbrella. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Come on, we have goldfish to scoop. All right. Show me your coup de gravy. Here we go. Easy now. Easy. Take care, you. Now, tilt your scooper ever so slightly. Careful. And lead it gently along the water's surface. Empty your mind. Become the water. Like this? Oh, no. More like this. Here, let me... <gasps> oh. <laughs> they touched hands. <laughs> sorry. No. I'm so sorry. Dumb. <laughs> really, I am. <gasps> Look, that game over there sure looks like fun. Right? You, whatever it is. Right! Let's go try it out! Okay, we'll go try this game. Flowers! Flowers for sale! Won't you buy a freshly cut flower? Look, you! She's selling flowers! Flowers being sold on the street. Luxembourg truly is out of this world. Huh? You mean they don't sell flowers on the moon? They don't look grow on the moon. The moon flowers are rare and precious. They're not something to be bought or sold lightly. There's bonds on the black market. There you are. We were searching everywhere for you. Uh oh. Oh, it would appear our Minister of the Right is well aware of his lady's likings. Wait, what? Minister, we have taken a fancy to that orange blossom. You will procure it for us, yes? Yes. Why do I get the feeling you're not going to leave me alone until I do? Look, here's your for blossom. you, my princess. Quoi? Mais pourquoi? You have served your princess well, Minister. We are most pleased. And here, Magnolia, this blue one is for you. Ah, there you go. Wh what is the meaning of this? It's lovely, of course, but... How can you give two flowers to two girls at the same time? Oh. It makes no sense. Busted. Uh, it doesn't? No, you don't do we that. We give a flower to a lady. Doesn't it? Doesn't it mean 
Do you like her? You're asking for her hand in marriage? No, it just means well, you the, like her. Marriage? Wait, wait, wait a minute, Magnolia. There must be some sort of misunderstanding. You're, 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 you're talking about on the moon, right? Duquetupel! So you mean when we first met, that flower you gave me? You were unconscious, and I used it to revive you. Ah. Sad. I, I see. <laughs> How silly of me, right? Oh, you I mean, guys. How could I ever think? Oh, I'm, Magnolia. I'm sorry. I didn't explain myself well enough. Well, Don't be who would have known you. on the moon? I have known better. After all, who would... Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm gonna crawl into a deep, dark hole. Oh, sad. D just so everyone is clear, this is not our fault. You are aware of this, yes? Look over there. If it isn't Tiz and Idia. Over here! Uh, here we are! Oh, Yoko! We've been looking all over for you! Why do I get the feeling I just walked in at the worst possible time? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I wonder how Commander Goodman is doing. I'll go check. No, wait, M Magnolia! Oh, Magnolia, don't run away! Oh, Say, Yoko, man. Uh, did something happen while we were gone? Just a fleeting misunderstanding, nothing more. <laughs> but how amusing. I think I shall not tire of you soon. Oh, snap. Get away. Get away, princess. No, leave. Oh, back so soon? Yeah. We just wanted to check in on Commander Goodman. How's he doing? Quite well, thank you. He's been resting comfortably in bed and just woke up not long ago. That's good. He even has his appetite back. I offered him some sweets from the festival, and he wolfed down an entire cake. Great. Sounds like there's nothing to worry about. It's all thanks to you. Truly, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. As a small yeah. token of our thanks, won't you spend the night? It would be our pleasure to have you. Truly? The pleasure would be all ours. Sweet, free healing. I'm up I'm up for it. Ba -na 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 -na. Good morning, everyone. Morning, you. I heard the story from Magnolia. Yeah. Don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, even I didn't realize that she you know. I know, but just thinking of what I put her through. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, good morning, Magnolia. You, I'm sorry about yesterday. Please, just forget about it. No, Magnolia, I should be the one... No, truly, it's fine. Really, I'm fine. <sighs> morning, everyone. Shall morning. we be off? Yes, Good let's... Good morning. We should thank Eleanor once more before we take off. Eleanor, thanks again for your hospitality. We'll be going... Uh, huh. Does it seem strangely quiet in here? Eleanor? Eleanor! Oh, shoot. Perhaps she's Everybody... Out. You, something's not right here. He He's huh? now controlled everybody that ate the pastries. Oh, no. Uh oh. I knew it. Everybody who ate the pastries is the... gone. Where is it? They've been everyone? mind controlled. There's not a soul in the streets. Perhaps they all went somewhere as part of the festival. Wouldn't we have heard about it? I was interviewing people about the history of Hearts Fest last night, and no one mentioned... Ah, oh, way to go, Six Star. What were they saying? Huh, do you have to keep bringing that up? Just wait a minute. Wh what in the world? You? Did something happen to your diary? Life is like an onion. 
Layer hmm. by layer you peel away, only to find yourself in tears. But saute the pieces in olive oil and... Uh, you might find the results surprisingly sweet. But let us speak of onions another time. Today, I have come to offer you an apology. Forgive me, for I did not mean to cause you concern. On the contrary, I sought only to help you in some small way. While I would like nothing more than to meet you face to face, I fear that things are not quite so simple. For the time being, know this. I am a friend. And while I consider huh. myself kindly and know my way about the seas, I am not by any means a stalker. Huh. Bon courage. May fortune ever smile upon you in your travels. Uh. <sighs> Who wrote this? Not me, that's for sure. It wasn't me either. And if it wasn't me, that, that leaves... Uh, us? You cannot be serious. That wasn't her. Uh, why, we did not even know that our minister kept a diary until this very moment. Judging from his words, it would seem to be the same person who guided us here to Eisenberg. Hmm. Right. If I recall, he was going on about vegetables then, too. Right? That was before you even met us. Does that mean this man with the purple pen is following us? Maybe it's... A ghost! Ghost Rider. Stop it, will you? Didn't I tell you that if there's one thing I'm scared of, it's ghosts. It's a ghost rider. Hey, I don't like him either. Why did I say that? If someone had followed us all the way here, we'd have noticed by now. Wow, sir. Cool and collected even at a time like this. Murgurger. Murgurger. All right, I've got it. Our culprit is the ghost of a kindly seafaring gardening stalker. We must be on our guard. This town, the diary, strange things are happening all around us. For all we know, an asterisk holder might be just around the corner. <gasps> Let's search the town and stay alert. Hmm. Oh, look, there's someone. Why, that is... Onisama! Her brother. Onisama, is it truly you? How I miss you so. Yoko, what are you doing in this place? I was searching for you, Onisama. Oh, how far I traveled, braving fearsome beasts and an ever-grumbling tummy. I see. Pray forgive your unworthy brother. Well, there's nothing like a heartwarming family reunion. Our pampered little princess sure sounds different when she's talking to her big brother, huh? Hmm? I do not believe we have met. Oh, these are the kind people who traveled with me. They fed me when I was hungry and kept me company on my journey. Is that so? Then I too am in your debt. I am Danzaburo, a disciple of the sword. On behalf of my sister, I offer my deepest gratitude. Uh, don't mention it. I'm sure you'd do the same for us. By the way, Dunsaburo, would you know anything about where everyone in town has gone? It's a good question. I fear I do not. I arrived in this city not minutes ago. I see. And with that, Yoko, you have imposed on these kind strangers enough. We should return home to Yunohana. I would love nothing more than to do just that, Onisama. But I fear our only way home is being blocked by this dreadful woman. We were looking for a way to cross Eisenbridge too, but I'm afraid we're up against quite a fearsome foe. Amy. Is that so? Then perhaps I can be of some assistance. Might I accompany you to this bridge? But, of course. All right, let's get out of here.
All right, that is going to do it, everyone. I think next time we got a side quest going on where I'm going to go for a merchant or a white mage asterisk. Hmm, which job will I pick? A merchant or a white mage? Huh, that's a hard decision. So thanks for watching, everyone. Actually, that it kind of is, because a merchant, you can get some major buco bucks. But I don't think that matters. I'm going for the white mage, obvs. Ob obviously, come on. So thanks for watching, everyone. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all my newest videos. Leave your comments below, and check out all the other videos and games on my channel. And follow me on Twitter, at Scoop of Crispy. I'll see you next time, continuing on with Bravely a Second.